Hi everyone. As we're heading into the weekend, I thought it would be nice to share a short relaxation practice with you. If you haven't met me before, my name is Claire Denise. I run the Essential Wellness Centre with Catherine Hassett and I'm also a yoga and relaxation teacher. One of the things that struck me the most when I began to delve deeper into um, my study and the practice of yoga was the effect of deep rest on the body. What I began to realise in my own life and from observing how as a society we function um, is that we really, really undervalue um, proper rest. So where we might think we're resting when we're watching TV or going to the movies and things like that, um, really that's not giving our nervous system the proper chance to restore itself, a proper chance for our immune system to build up and our energy levels to build. So this is going to be a short little reset for you and I recommend it to absolutely anyone. So whether you're at home and you feel like, well, I'm kind of sitting around a lot. Well, yeah, that's not really true rest because you're probably thinking quite a bit and, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. So coming into the present moment and resting thoroughly um, is going to give you the world a good. And also, if you have been out there working over the past weeks and months, um, you definitely need this rest. So this is going to be my little gift to you. So if you don't want to get bogged down with using a lot of blankets and things, you could practice this next sequence simply lying on your back. So we'll give you that option, but I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to gather some blankets, which I'll talk about in a minute. If you're saying, oh, can't be bothered with all of that, then you can lie on your back with your knees bent, your feet quite wide, a bit wider than your hip distance apart, your knees dropping together, and your arms moving quite a bit away from your body, sort of out at a, at a 45 degree angle, your head resting. So that is an option, but please do join me for the more luxurious version, let's call it. So if you're going to do that, I would recommend getting perhaps two or three blankets and either a really big firm cushion or take two or three pillows off the bed. I'll show you how to set up. So what we're going to do is use some blankets to help to provide extra comfort for our back and also to open the chest a bit. So what I've got here are some quite big firm blankets. So if you have like woolen blankets or firm ones, they would be the best, but make do whatever you have. So I folded these lengthways a few times so that it's going to be no wider than the width of your back. In fact, it's going to be a little bit narrower than that. And that's just going to go sort of towards the back of my mat. Now, don't worry if you don't have a mat, just come down onto a soft surface. Um, so that's where the back is going to go. And I've got a second blanket folded, let's tidy that up a bit now, folded more or less the same width. I'm going to place that on top. And I'm going to place it a little bit further back. So I'm, the blankets are going to be stepped. So I'm going to put about one hand's width until I step the next blanket. So this is just going to provide extra comfort for the lower back. Now I have a yoga bolster here, but this is where you could use um, a stack of blankets, or as I said, a couple of pillows off the bed or a big cushion. This is going to go under the knees. Now that could be enough. If you happen to have another blanket, fold that over until you have a small rectangular shape and then take the longer edge of it and roll that up. And what you're doing in essence is creating a kind of smaller bolster and that's gonna go underneath your ankles. So I've got two blankets stepped for under the back, I've got something for under the knees and something smaller for under the ankles. Another thing you could have, if you happen to have one of these lovely eye pillows, you might use that, or even just a light scarf or something that could be placed over the eyes. So the key to comfort here is just getting your back in the right position. So I'm going to bring my sitting bones onto the floor. I'm going to come right in contact with that lower blanket. 
So you'll see that it's stepped, so it's going to support a nice curve in my lower back. The bolster, or if you're using pillows, that's going to go underneath your knees. So take the time to get it in the right position, and then the other blanket onto the ankles. This is going to feel like bliss. And then, of course, I forgot to mention another blanket. So really four um, is probably the best. So if you don't have four, um, the thing to sacrifice is the one that's underneath the ankles. Cover up with that one instead. So anyone who's been to my classes knows you can never have too many blankets. So as you lie back, you want to check that your head is comfy. So what can be nice is just to take the top blanket and double it over a bit near the top so your head gets slight cushioning. And I'm going to pull it in around my neck like so. Now if, that, if you had very um, soft blankets and that wasn't working, you could put a cushion on the top. Just get it right in underneath your neck and under the top of your shoulder blades as well. So it's really nestled in there. And so that's feeling pretty good to me. If you're not feeling good in the back, you might need to reduce the height or maybe you, you're sitting too far away from your blanket so you need to wriggle closer. So just kind of play around with it until you find comfort. And if you have something to cover the eyes, you can place that on. And the arms are going to come out a bit away from the body with the palms facing. So if you want to hit pause now and just make sure you've got all those bits together, maybe test out the position before you get completely ready. So gathering everything, sinking back. And hopefully you've got your props set up now so that you can straight away as you lie back into them you can really fall into that support and allow the shoulders to drop down. Drop your chin a little towards your chest and just take a few normal breaths feeling the whole weight of the body dropping into those supports. pose is going to do is move you out of any parasympathetic, uh, out of any sympathetic nervous system dominance and into parasympathetic dominance which basically means rest and digest mode. This is where your body gets to come back into balance. Now it does take a little bit of time so just let yourself sink into it. Feel that process of slowing down and that stillness washing over you. Soften your jaw and relax your tongue. Feel the legs maybe becoming a little heavier. And so as perhaps we're starting to feel a little more at ease. Just notice your natural breath. That flow as it goes back and forward. And then just for a few minutes, the remaining very conscious of our breath. We're just going to invite the breath to flow in a little deeper now and see if you can feel the space as it travels into it. And often we think about the front of the chest, but let's consider the back of the body as well. So can you maybe send your breath into the ribs at the back? Maybe you can feel that expanding, that little pressure as your back opens up into the blankets beneath you. Inhaling again now, so breathing in, see if the breath can go into the back and maybe the ribs will expand outwards. Exhale. 
exhaling, rib cage falling, shoulders softening. And now relax the effort and just breathe normally. So this is a pause. No effort, no ambition. And now let's invite that deeper breath again. And it's a slow, smooth breath. So building up the lungs. And now breathe out for the same length, exhaling slow. Let's do it again, breathing in. Maybe now a slight count, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. And now normal breath, relax the effort, soften everything. And then breathing in deeply again, inhaling, two, three, four. Exhaling, two, three, four, inhaling, two, three, four, exhaling, two, three, four. Relax the efforts, a normal breath. And if you feel that you'd like to take a second natural breath, go for it. And then back into that count again. Breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. Breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. Natural breath now, drop the effort. And back into the count. So keep going like that. So two counting breaths, even, and then a natural breath, no effort. And just observe, how does it feel to breathe? How does it feel to be still? And if the mind is wandering, thoughts want to drag you away that's okay you'll just find your way back to your breath come back for a few conscious normal breaths and then go back into that rhythm again so this is a, ver a version of samavriti or square breathing where we're breathing at this even pace but we're letting there be that space for that stillness, that softness, where we take that natural breath as well. Let's continue for another two minutes.
relax all efforts now. If you find that you are loving this position and no desire to move, then I invite you to stay as long as you like. If you feel ready to continue with your day, then you can bend your knees one at a time, bring your feet onto the support that was under your knees. And then ever so gently roll over onto your side. And if you were just lying on your back without props, same thing, just draw your knees in, roll to your side. And take a few breaths on our side, just to notice the effects of our little slice of rest. And then when you're ready, just come up into sitting. Namaste. Thank you for trying this experience of rest with me. If you enjoyed it or if you have any questions, um, do leave me a message in the comments below. If you'd like to know more about restorative yoga, um, you can visit my website. I run a restorative session online every Sunday night and I'll be offering more small snippets of rest um, over the next few weeks as well. Thank you very much. See you soon.